I have uh, is about exemptions. Are there any exemptions um, from child support? So for instance, um, say a uh, payor is in the uh, really low income bracket or they're in social assistance, do they still have to, are they still obliged to pay yeah. child support? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, you are always obliged to pay child support as long as you can, you have the ability to bring in some type of income or as long as you are the recipient of some type of income. So that's why um, individuals who are on Ontario Works or on disability payments may still have to pay child support, just like individuals who are not working, but maybe live off of their savings, right, and receive a dividend income or capital gains income right? Those individuals still have to pay child support. So um, it's not, not that you wouldn't have to pay child support, but there may be an argument that the amount you have to pay is too burdensome because of your circumstances. So for example, if you are on Ontario Works, mm -hmm. so you are, let's say, imputed at $25,000, mm -hmm. but most of that is going to your rent, right? right? Because your rent is subsidized. It's not mm -hmm. taken care of completely. Right. You may argue that the X amount of dollars you have to pay is too much for you. It's too right. burdensome. So there is um, law to talk about whether child support is too much, is too burdensome. In that area of law, you are trying to make a case that you cannot make your basic necessities of food, clothing, and shelter. So you have to prove to the court that you can't make those expenses and why you can't legitimately make those expenses. It's a very hard standard to meet. Oh, is that the undue hardship? That's undue hardship, yeah, oh, exactly. Right. Got it, yeah.